La 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 Manohar Devdas, an artist with a scientific temper, a committed professional with an innovative spirit, an enduring and a caring husband to his incapacitated wife, a doting father, an exceptional writer whose creative passion broke the barriers posed by his failing vision. Manohar was born at Goripalayam in Madurai. He grew up in the Madurai of the 1940s. He enjoyed his most precious boyhood days in Setupati High School. All the fun and frolic, all the social changes, all the aspects happened during my school years and many things happened within the school compound. Even about this column, you know, uh, many, many aspects, even about the teachers. I wrote about one of my teachers, thus in the book. It goes like this. He had an aquiline nose, which was very sharp. His steel grey eyes were sharper. His keen ears were sharper still. But his vitriolic tongue was the sharpest. You know, we had teachers like that. They were giants among men. His artistic career began in the classroom where he both sketched his pictures and listened to the classes. <laughs> were born for each other. What began as an idyllic love affair ended in their fairy tale wedding. When Manu served her dinner at the wedding ceremony, he hardly realized that his destiny was to serve her for the rest of his life. 
their thirst for knowledge made them pursue their higher studies in Oberlin in the USA. It's a wonderful college and it's very, very intellectually inclined. For instance, in 1933, they had a policy that they will open the doors to blacks and to women, which was very, very extraordinary in the United States in those days. And it's a very, so the, 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 the chemistry department was very, very strong. And they also had a strong Asian bias that they liked Asia. So they had a beautiful dormitory called the Asia House. Uh, where, you know, in the same dormitory, the two wings and one wing girls stayed and another wing boys stayed, you know, it was, it was co they call it a co-educational dormitory. And the, the following year, when I wanted Mahima to become the director, they were a bit hesitant, how is an Indian woman going to handle this six and a half foot uh, boys and, and girls in a co-educational dormitory. But uh, then they saw Mahima's credentials and they agreed, you know, that uh, uh, she could be a, a director. And uh, she virtually became a legend there. It's only, a, you know, it's only a head of a dormitory and organizing program because both of us are artistic and both of us are sensitive to cultures and, and, and you know, dance and music and uh, the arts. They see beauty everywhere and they open the eyes of people around them to that beauty. From Oberlin, the couple flew back with hopes of scaling new heights in their lives. They drove down to Madurai to climb the Kodai Hills where they desire to open a new chapter as teachers in the Kodai Public School. The fresh pasture of their dreams was mowed down by a fatal accident that left Mahima crippled for life. Try panni accelerator me diche. Apo ande lorry driver kitta vande car yiriche. Ande satta onna tha. Yena kri pani ava arugude. In those days there were no safety belts, so she was thrown out of the car. She had no external injury, not none, not one, what's not one, but she had a spinal injury in her neck, which made her, you know, paralyzed below her neck. Um, so she lost control of her body movement with a host of uh, associated uh, problems. My father, despite Amma's accident when I was six years old, despite doing full-time work and pushing his career f 